Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I welcome you all to this session. That is part 10 of the series. It was great, alhamdulillah, to complete these 10 days of our sessions. And I extend my thanks and gratitude to all of you for being here consistently for these 10 days. It was a pleasure and a moment of happiness when I saw the challenge being completed. It gives an immense pleasure that students understand. They applied the logics, they applied their thinkings and gave me the solution of what was being asked. I think some audible everyone. Okay, that's clear that I'm audible and everyone are able to hear me. So today's session would be a bit different. I would not be handling for today's session. Our team who is organizing this will handle this session for today. And the same will start at 7.30. Until then, this 15 minutes of time, what we have is ours. I did go through the videos what has been shared on the WhatsApp group and some are, some also had shared me over the mail and I also got few personal videos that is personally they had messaged me and then shared me the videos of their project that is challenge what I had given them. Uh, it was great that everyone did it completely. Few also tried with uh, text and few just went, the, went, went with the blocks. However, we got our challenge been completed. Uh, I'll be teaching the session for sure. Like I'll be continuing the session. I will be the instructor for this webinar series. But just for today, uh, we have a few other announcements. So we'll be doing this. OK. So now I request everyone to listen to me. I'll be announcing something very much important than what we have based on the things what we did yesterday. That is a challenge part. So I'll just explain you what it is. Sir, I had a doubt in the coding. Surely you can share me the problem and then I'll ask or uh, try to resolve the query and that should work then. So before I announce something or tell something, uh, if you have any doubts regarding to anything what we have done until today or anything regarding to the competition or challenges or why was it different between the, a new thing introduced that was a, given a challenge and then uh, what will be the criteria for getting the, set, yeah, getting the prizes being selected or any other doubts or queries you have, you can ask me on the chat session. I'll answer you the same.
sir can you teach me teach how to code in the text uh, i request you okay i'll just sh show you until then okay sir based on what do we get the prices okay i'll come back to you at alina kids channel i'll come back to you in a moment or i'll have your question surely answered until then let me just answer the other question because uh, that should be taken to the browser and then i have to show it sir based on what do we get the prices okay so we'll give a challenge like how we had for today and we'll also ask some tricky questions based on the things what we have learned remember we'll be asking only based on the things what we have learned we'll be asking we'll relate the things and then ask you the questions and we'll select three of them for the prizes and we also have one more selection criteria that is we'll be selecting few students and what is the criteria for them and what will they get for the same that will be shared to you by our team members they'll be here shortly with us and then we can decide on it when must we submitting the submitting it uh, the deadline for the challenge what we have given today is tomorrow until 6 pm sir the challenge was very hard but alhamdulillah i completed it successfully that is great alhamdulillah sir i couldn't complete your challenge uh, no worries you can try you have a time until tomorrow evening so you can do it for sure for sure you'll get it if you have any doubts you can message me or get back to me and i'll help you out at the beginning of the challenge what was difficult then to code then later i figured it out that's great i checked out your video so do these challenges have marks uh, not exactly not marks but we'll be considering these challenges for the final selections how to do the challenge it was very 8888 i couldn't understand it okay sir i'm having a trouble coding and i don't know your number in whatsapp can you please help me uh you can just uh, message on the same in the group and i'll get back to you sir what is the challenge on 6th july what is the date today today is fifth so we'll be sharing the challenge if we have any challenge for tomorrow we'll be sharing that thing to you on the group so st stay tuned we'll be updating the same when the selection will be held selection will be held most probably on 14th day of the webinar or the last day of the webinar inshallah you can ask us any doubts you have anything because uh, alhamdulillah we are ahead of the syllabus what we had planned like the plan which we had shared with you that is syllabus copy alhamdulillah we are ahead of the same so we have enough time to do so you can ask us any of your doubts today and tomorrow we will be continuing with our class again sir are the prizes related to the quest uh, no prizes are not related to the quest uh, the quiz the prizes will be based on the competition what will be doing it sir can we do a series challenge till tomorrow will you consider it sir yes tomorrow 6 pm is the last time to submit it Sir, can we use Tinkercad and on Android? Yes, you can use it, but you may feel a bit dif difficulty on dragging, dragging and coding part. But if you are okay with it, then you can go ahead. If you have a tablet, then I think so it will be easier. Sir, how many people will be selected? Uh, that depends, but we'll be fair with our selection, inshallah. Sir, can you change the group setting to normal? I want to send my challenge. Uh, okay, I'll do that thing after the webinar, inshallah. What was the challenge of yesterday's? Uh, please do check out the group. Not yesterday's, today I had posted it in the early morning. Around, uh, I think so in the morning I have posted. You can check out the group for the same. Okay, sir. Sir, what is your name in the group? Uh, my name is Ahmad Alimad. So you can search out admin. 
sir will all these videos be available whenever we want to refer yes it will be available whenever you want to refer sir please tell me what to do for the coding in the challenge i have a doubt uh it's simple like whatever the problem statement we give you need to solve it out i'm not sure what to use i think so we have made it very clear that uh, whatever we, we we have also mentioned the components to be used like for the door we have mentioned servo to be used for temperature we have mentioned uh temperature sensor to be used and led for indication and buzzer for getting the alert please add my number in the group you can choose the group invite link and then join the group and moreover i request all the participants uh, i mean all the parents of the participants to please join us today because we have a meet i think so that has been also shared in the whatsapp group sir when will we get a certificate inshallah after completion of the webinar series we will get the certificate only for the challenge coding sir uh you know one thing like just text uh, get back to me on the whatsapp and then i'll help you out there some practical sessions i couldn't understand that was hasna and yous just help me out with understanding your question can you briefly tell me what is stem stem is okay we we okay can you some practical sessions okay can we you briefly uh tell me what is stem stem is nothing but uh, science technology engineering and mathematics so combination of all these things sir will you tell once the for the challenge tomorrow uh, yeah sure we'll do that sir i wanted to know what is there in the sensor to count people uh we can use the ultrasonic sensor also we can also use uh, ir sensors so is there a voltage to yes everywhere there is a voltage how will we get the certificate over the email provided in the re registration form sir can all this work in real life uh, or only in tinker cat because i have to i have a real arduino at my house and i want to do the cool thing you teased me you can perfectly do the things in a real life exactly the same you can do it in the real life so you can go ahead that's great sir will we get a marks in every challenge no it's not like that sir we will get a electronic certificate se certificates sir there is no class today uh, we have a few announcements by the team members so we just had 10 15 minutes for us so we just kept it for q and a sessions can you teach me how to do coding yeah like we are doing it uh, from the last 10 days and do join us also in the next 5 uh, days and we will have it sir price is money uh, price is a price so i'm not sure what it is sir what is going on q and a session sir i didn't understand the assignment can you explain briefly uh, it was simple that you need to make a a model where you have a temperature sensor and uh, when the temperature is increasing uh, than the given limit what is been given buzzer gives a sound and the red light glows and the door is closed and if it is lower then the green light glows and the door opens and in the serial monitor it shows allowed thank you can you tell me which code should be used for the challenge I'm new here can you briefly explain and tell what the seminar is about uh seminar is about how to get started with robotics we'll be learning from the we started learning from the basics of electronics and then we came gradually to the microcontrollers and then we started with controlling the leds and then so on 
and we learned how to interface sensors, how they work and so on. So is this uh, session important for today? Oh, sorry, class 10, yes, perfectly. Sir, we do coding in the Arduino in Technicad, how to do in the coding real life. I think so, I showed you that in the class fifth or uh, sixth, I think so, how to install uh, Arduino and so on, like how to do the coding in the Arduino. If not, I'll show you demo again tomorrow or share the video with you all so that you can do it from there. Everyone's challenge is same, yes. Sir, please extend the days for another one month we love to learn with you. You teach amazing robotics. I'm impressed with you. There's a color hair for that. Uh, we'll uh, speak with our team and then uh, surely think on it. Uh, please do not uh, send the same thing so many times. I read your question. Uh, just send the text once uh, because I, I'm reading it here. So please do not uh, send the same text. Keep on text sending the same text. It irritates the other persons. Sir, please increase the duration for one month. Uh, we'll be issuing you the feedback form again at the end of the webinar. That is when we are finishing this webinar 15 days. We'll be issuing the feedback. You can write whatever you want, all the feedbacks, whatever your requirements are there and how you want us to take ahead. You can mention every single thing there so that our team gets to know what to be done, inshallah. Sir, are we going to learn anything today? No, I don't, we're, we're not learning anything for today. Let us have a Q&A session and then follow it up with the... Uh... Priya? Can you hear me? Zip? Top name.
Yes, yes, you can start. All right, presentation. Yes, it's ready. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain amma ba'd. On behalf of the management of the Islamic Information Center, I welcome you all. And uh, hopefully the sessions that are going on, you are all uh, liking it and it will be very interesting that uh, the sessions that you've been going through. Am I right? Audible, yeah, you're yeah, audible. Okay, I don't see the presentation. Oh, uh, just a second. Yeah, yeah, it's there. One minute. Uh, do I see that on the YouTube or here? On the YouTube. Great. So I take this opportunity to present uh, the activities of Islamic Information Center. The reason to share the activities is one you will. The reason to share the activities is one that you will, you, you will know that uh, what exactly the NGO has been doing for the past ten, year, ten years, and two I have an announcement to make as to where we stand when when it comes to the technical uh, robotics webinar session as to how we can uh, how we can improvise this so i have a good news which i will share it later during the session at the end of the session and meanwhile i will just go through the activities and uh, the activities that we have performed for the entire 10 years of alhamdulillah you can see the first slide here you can say islamic information center and it has uh, Various branches of it, like the legal itself, Madrasa Arham, Studio Lazan, Al Afia Rokya Center, Healing Touch, a charitable clinic, Community Fridge, Medicine Bank, One Identity. And added to that, we have two other things which we've added recently, which is Emmet Entrance Test. And the second thing is the Inspire Academy that we are launching for the students who do not clear. 10th uh, and the PUC exam. So for them, we are also, also launching an academy, which is Inspire Academy, which we will let you know as the event progresses. Uh, go ahead. Uh, great. So Alhamdulillah, we've completed 10 years uh, during April. Go to the next slide, Zahmat. We've completed 10 years of that, the different branches that you see. Move on to the next slide, please. So this we've completed 10 glorious years of Islamic Information Center with the various activities that we have done. We thank all the partner NGOs, partner hospitals, partner educational institutions who have cooperated, collaborated with us. Who are we? We started in March 2010 in a rented room uh, with the vision to help the poor and the needy. Go on. Keep moving, please. Oh, just a second. Yeah. March 2010, we started. We started in the rented room, and then it was because we wanted to have uh, uh, there is there is this area which is where we can concentrate and also to propagate the correct understanding of Islam amongst the Muslims and non-Muslims.
I mean, can you just to go on to uh, improve the move on to the slides? Yes. Can you hear? See me now. No, I don't see. Just a second. It's a black. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we can see you. Yes. Move ahead. Any technical challenges? Yes, go on. You started in the render. Yes. Activities of Islamic information center includes distribution of Quran amongst Muslims, non-Muslims. We organize lectures and symposia on Islamic comparative religion. We have a circulating library as well, where, where the students and professionals can benefit out of the books that we have. <clears throat> we have a full set of books in English, Urdu, and uh, uh, regional languages like Kannada, Tamil, Malayalam as well. Next slide. <clears throat> Next slide, please. I we guess, have uh, a madrasa as well. Yes, sir. Are there challenges? Oh, uh, you, you watch the screen of. Uh, I request you watch the screen of the Google Meet. So there will not be lagging behind. We have a madrasa there wherein the students who go to the contemporary education, go to schools in the morning, they come for the madrasa in the evening to learn the Islamic values and morals. We have. Uh, Two batches, one from Asad to Maghrib, Maghrib to Isha. We have our 200 plus students. We organize summer camps uh, annually. We have annual Hajj training programs for those pilgrims who go on to their uh, Hajj, uh, Hajj program. We have sales of authentic Islamic books and DVDs. Oh, I request everybody to please uh, watch the Google Meet screen. From there, we are live properly. We print books as well. We have weekly lectures so that we can uh, help the women uh, understand the basic requirements. What what is it that require on day to day basis for them Islamically? We have weekly lectures for them in five different places in Bengaluru. Next slide, please. Do you have any challenges? Uh... You could just uh, see the presentation in the app and proceed. Zureb, do you have any challenges? Can you unmute your mic? 
uh, what you can do is just uh, watch the Google Meet screen and then from there you can go ahead. Hello. We have a Baitul Mal in place as well, wherein we collect the Sadaqa, Zakah and the Riba amount so that we can help the poor and the needy. Also, we also get involved in the relief projects like uh, Muzaffar, Nagar, Rayout, Kashmir, floods, Chennai, floods, Kerala, floods. That means where if there is any uh, issues where there is floods or earthquake, any natural disaster that happens, uh, our NGO is always there working with the, with the local NGO, coordinate with them and we take it forward with from them. We also help the poor people by purchasing autos so that uh, they can earn their livelihood and they can also return the amount. Next slide. Next slide, please. Uh, I request please uh, use the Google Meet screen or Google Meet app and from there you can uh, follow it up. All right. We, uh, we also have medical aid, educational aid, which is provided to the students and the needy. We have a charitable clinic, a healing touch. We have a medicine bank, a legal aid cell as well. Uh, when it comes to the Mount Carmel College type, uh, it's in uh, anybody, any students who's, who's there in the PG, part of their curriculum is that they have to work for an NGO. So these students come to our organization, they work for us and we issue a certificate to them so that uh, it is helpful. and. Uh, they produce it to their interns and uh, they take it up from there. Periodical outdoor events are conducted, whatever the requirement is based on the situation. Uh, we do social events to educate the masses, to educate the society as to how exactly we need to react to the, the situations. We have we also conduct free medical camps, we provide free monthly medicines to the patients, we have we also provide free monthly ration to the poor, widows. Uh, of course, based on verification, we have free matrimonial services. And during the COVID-19 lockdown, Alhamdulillah, we've uh, distributed ration to about 2,500 plus families during lockdown. More than 1 lakh plus food uh, packs were distributed. We also did public announcement to help people uh, stay home, to stay safe. Water tankers were provided at the slums because uh, since there was a lockdown, there was no 
free water service who provided that. This is a picture of a uh, dust in progress in the initial days when we started in 2010. Next slide. Any uh, any competitions that happen and uh, if they have to choose uh, Bangalore and our organization chosen is chosen as a center for any quiz competition, Islamic quiz competitions or examinations. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. This is the first event we did uh, Stop Tauri in which we had uh, uh, re religious leaders of different faiths like a Christian pastor, Hindu priest, uh, uh, ulamas and all came on the same platform uh, denouncing, denouncing Tauri that it is not part of any society, neither does any religion propagate it. So we did this first event, then we did an open ground event called Fazail Ramadan in which we had different scholars addressing the issues. Next slide. Then we did a program on Muslim family, uh, right from uh, engagement to divorce, what are the rulings, followed uh, uh, during every weekend, some different scholars. Then we also did a crash course for the children to understand how to offer Salah, where to, if they're standing in Salah, how do they look, where do they look, what is it they need to recite. So all this, this was done. Next slide. This is the first summer camp that we did in which we had the last parampara to be by hearted within 30 days of Nurullah. One child did that. So this is the, the beginning of the summer camp. Then we did the Sira of the right, the Sira of the four caliphs. That is Abu Bakr Siddiq, Umar, Usman and Ali, Ali Razi Allah and Majmeh. Their life history, what is it that we learn from them, what we should know and how do we implement in our lives. Then we also did an event on Islamic quiz competition at the South India level, wherein we invited students across the South India for, an, uh, for a test and we, prizes were distributed. Then we did the Shahadat Hussain. What happens is that during Muharram, there are some misconceptions and a certain sect uh, has a certain understanding of it. So what is the correct understanding? What does Islam say? We had this program, Bishop Abdul Hasib Badani Hafiz of Allah. Next slide. Then we did the Sira of the four Imams. Sira means the life history, life history of the four Imams. Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Ahmad bin Hanbal. Their life history, again, what do we learn from these scholars? And what is it that we can implement in life? So we, so we look at it, we are constantly trying to see how we can change ourselves. And this is, uh, these are the flyers about true love. We distribute this amongst the college going students and amongst the corporates. Uh, on the, during just before the Valentine's Day, encouraging especially the Muslim boys and girls not to get involved in these kind of activities, which is not part of Islam. Next slide. Then we did a workshop on Zakah and also we did a program welcoming Ramadan. In the Zakah workshop, we did everything. That is, if you have a P, if you get the PF amount, how much Zakah should be calculated on that. If you have 40 sheep or 100 sheep, then what is the Zakah that you need to give? So the rulings, exactly what is what to the exact rulings on that, uh, based on scholarly opinion, a one day workshop was done. Next. We also did a program on the zero of the wives of the Prophet. Uh, what is it that we learned from it? Was, this was a two consecutive days program on uh, in the Firoz estate on the terrace there. So what do we learn from them? What is it that the women need to inculcate and what is it that we learn? This was a two consecutive days program that was done. Next slide. This is the inauguration of a facility. We have, Alhamdulillah, the NGO that we have, that the facility that we have is our own facility, we don't have to pay rent, so that is why we are able to concentrate on activities and work on that. Next slide. Then, oh, everything regarding the women issues, the, one of the senior scholars, Shifanusur Rahman, was traveling to Bangalore, so we had the opportunity of conducting programs continuously for three to four days. So all the women issues were related, addressing the women. And we've also done a summer camp again. Next slide. 
uh, the Delhi rape that happened, and uh, it was there all in the media, in the international media as well. At that time, we did a program on Islamic solution for the epidemic of rape. So what exactly does Islam, Islamic Sharia say? So what are the precautions that can be taken and rape can be avoided? So this is the program that we did. Then we've also done a program on 40 advisors to make a better home and also have a positive relationship with family members. How does a son have to be with the father, father with the son, in-laws, daughter-in-laws? So that the house is a blessed home. Then there was a, this street dawa that happens wherein uh, we can see the youngsters giving Quran, standing on the streets to non-Muslims, explaining, the, explaining them about Islam. So at that time we did this workshop and dawa as to what exactly the Islam or the Sharia says. How do we do it with the senior, senior scholars like Sheikh Abdul Hasib, Sheikh. Uh, Sheikh Dr. Ahmad Madani, Sheikh Hafiz Muaz. So we constantly try to uh, make the make these events with the scholarly presentation so that we are uh, on track with it comes to the Sharia. Next slide, please. This is Sheikh Hanifur Rahman uh, uh, holding a class on Aqidatul Wasitiya, one of the important books on Aqidah, and he hold a half, holded a half day session on few important. Uh, Lessons on that. Next slide. In Hegre Nagar, we identified a few Muslim families where they didn't have any food to eat. So we did a program there and distributed food as well. Then the right, you can see the Muzaffar Nagar riots. When it had happened, we had to send the cloths also to them. So we got cloths of different sizes, different genders. So the sisters played a very major role by segregating dresses according to boys, girls according to the age, men, women, and then we had to be transported to Muzaffar. Next slide. This is a roadshow that we did, encouraging uh, youngsters not to waste their time standing in the tea shops and chit-chatting. So we did this roadshow to tell them not to get involved in these kind of activities. Instead, utilize their time in a better way. Next slide. So again, a Dawa training program was conducted, a summer camp again. As every year, uh, as the summer holidays begin, we also do summer camp. So time and again, so the presentation is, uh, we've tried to keep all the activities that we've done according to the dates that we have done. Next slide, please. Funeral rites is what we've done. Uh, uh, we did a practical session with funeral rites because if somebody passes away at home, we panic. We do not know how to shroud the body or how to do give ghusl to the body so this a practical session was done so that uh, we understand and we implement that and we do not panic and uh, there are certain rituals that are done which are not is which are not islamic so we had to to tell them what exactly is the correct understanding we did that event then al ulama virasatul ambiya ulama the virasat of the ambiya so this we did a program on inheritors of the prophet next slide Uh, women issues, uh, we have a uh, local gynecologist, Dr. Sai Razia. So these uh, sessions were conducted to the women so that they know what is basic hygiene and uh, health issues related to women. Next slide. Any autos that we purchase, we make this uh, stand where the passenger sits and we have these flyers wherein any passenger who sits can take these flyers for themselves. So it's an indirect dawa wherein they get to know about the misconceptions about Islam. They can clear the misconceptions about Islam. They can, they will get to know what exactly Islam is. So it's an opportunity that we don't miss. Next slide, please. So about uh, two, three years or so, we what we did was during Ramadan, we gave a packet of dates and a Quran copy to all these people. That is, we went to the local police stations across the uh, police stations across Bangalore, and this is what a temple where. In, where we have spoke to spoke to the priest, we handed over a Quran. So we did that at a police station, at a bank, and I had to be a visit this con for certain things. So they also came and visited our organization, so sharing a copy of Quran to them so that they know exactly what Islam is. Next slide. This is the Ramadan timetable. Time and again, when there is Ramadan, we make this timetables and the wishes, just the PR. Next slide. See, this is the Ramadan wishes, Eid Mubarak, and also that uh, uh, welcoming Ramadan. So this is from the organization's perspective. We share these kind of uh, messages. Next slide. 
we conduct free eye camps at various places in Bangalore. So far, we've conducted 25 plus eye camps. This is the Kashmir relief. So there was, there was Kashmir place I personally visited along with the, the local NGOs. We worked there. It was a, there's a requirement of water bottles. We set water bottles, requirement of quilts. Next slide, you can move on. So we coordinate any uh, relief function, relief uh, activities. If it is out in Bangalore, we coordinate with local NGOs because they know their, their place best. We see what is required and we go there, check the ground reality and then support. It's not just that we stay back and pass on the funds and they do it. Next slide. It was a time of Eid al Adha there, so we made food packets and sent it across to them. Next slide. same Kashmir relief next slide we did a program on cleanliness and neighbor rights and uh, we at this is another summer camp in which we had uh, Mr. Krishna by Krishna by the Goda, a minister for agriculture who visited the road show which we did cleanliness and neighbor rights next slide please yes you can see Krishna by Goda addressing that tell them what exactly is cleanliness and all that then this is spoken Arabic classes for uh, to, uh, corporates who come uh, who can come by nine o'clock in the night, nine to ten? So we had the spoken Arabic classes. Next session, next slide, please. Then we did this uh, four-day Tawa training program by Sister Nasim Mintahasan, wife of Shah Rashid Bashir Madani, only for sisters as to how to convey the message of Islam in a very crisp and clear manner. Next slide. Shah Rashid Bashir Madani holds the session on uh, Surah Nabat to Surah Nas. What is the important uh, nasihat or the uh, the thing that we can extract from this. So we did the session. Then also we did a program on Tala for uh, one's country, significance, reality, and obligations. So during this time of crisis, where what as Muslims, how do we uh, react? What is the what is our stand and what is the importance? So that is the program that we did. Next slide. Hijama camps are uh, conducted frequently. Next slide. Marriage it is given to those uh, uh, girls who cannot afford uh, and if there's certain commitment the girls family make, we try to help them out. This is mutton distribution. Next slide. This is, you can see on the right, with the skin distribution, I mean skin collection. During Bakrid, we uh, collect the skins and then we sell that and the amount that we get, we use it in the Baitul Mal to help the poor and the needy. This is the clothes distribution. Next slide. The next uh, he is a financier. He is one of the Muslim brother taken a loan. He was unable to repay. He was pressurizing. So we intervene. We make the payment. For example, if it's a loan of uh, rupees one lakh, we negotiate with them for 30, 40,000, 50,000 and close it. So that's how we try to close these loans. This is the Atkar chart after Salah. Ahle Bayt is family of the Prophet. So all the rulings on that, that program, that session was conducted. The volunteers cleaning this uh, road during this bucket. Usually, some of the Muslim brothers who are not educated or don't understand uh, cleanliness, they just leave the dirt on the road. So, our volunteers cleaning that skin care workshop by Dr. Jasmin Mullah for the systems. This was conducted. Next slide. H1N1 awareness program was conducted. At that time, uh, there was a swine flu that was. Uh, making rounds and so we wanted to know what is uh, how to have that awareness and what are the precautions to take so dr jasmine will address that next slip senior police officer visited the organization he wanted to know what islamic information center is and then he is you can see how iskon volunteer he also walked in understand understood what exactly islam is next slide yeah, wherever we get an opportunity we have the stalls wherein the free books are given a bit at a marriage wedding hall or at uh, some events or some annual days. You can see at a school. Next slide. Personality development classes are conducted for madrasa students and uh, teamwork activity, like coordinating uh, for helping other madrasas. We have a football tournament as well. So we have a football team from our organization wherein uh, students themselves form a part of a former team and we participate in the tournaments. Uh, we launched Healing Touch, a charitable clinic. And this is basically to help the poor with the state of the art facility. Next slide. In the inauguration, we had the then health minister, Yuki Khadar, and then 
Rahman Sharif Congress later, you can see the scholars. TCP Baba was present, the media was present at that time. Next slide. This is the fundraising drive for a charitable clinic. Next slide, please. This is the numbers that you can see for the number of patients that we attended. This is the old data. But uh, th by the time you see, uh, we had this, so the numbers are more than what we see in the chart here. Next slide. We do this preschool teacher training program for the teachers. This uh, course costs 50,000 outside, but we do it for free. And if they attend this program and then if they don't clear, they lose that 50,000. So we make sure that they practice here and then they clear this examination. These are the stuff made for the Montessori children from these teachers. Next slide. We did this program on life history of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bashar Abdul Aziz Madri. It was a continuous 23 day event that we did, which is a super success. So this is a one year course that we have for sisters so that uh, they know the uh, they know the basics of uh, day to day life. So that is the one year program. Then we also had this awareness uh, posters being rolled out about environment as to how they have to be um, how to segregate waste, what is wet waste, dry waste, and all that. Next uh, next slide, please. There's the educational aid uh, being provided to the underprivileged students. Medical camps at our organization. There's outdoor medical camp. Books that were printed so far about uh, rape, Hindi, book, in Tau, book on Tawheed in Hindi, feudal rights in English and Urdu, fortress of Muslim, Dua book that we've printed so far. These are the flyers that we print and uh, keep it uh, the autos and also distribute amongst the masses. We have a doctor who had been visited the old age home and we made the, uh, the file for them. A new uh, doctor comes, it should not be like they start start off afresh. So a file was made for them. There's medical camp at a hearing touch. This is a get together with the Artinagar police station. Every, every year during Eid, we just throw a party to them so that there's a rapport building. Next clip. There's the Chennai relief. Go on, move on. So there also we coordinated again by coordinating. With, well, this is the Kerala relief coordinating with the local NGOs there. Actually, that class is very important uh, for the children for us to know what exactly uh, Ahida should be. What is the belief? How do we believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and uh, the important things? So this is the important class that we conduct. Go on. Then we also conducted a program on what is ISIS because at that time uh, terrorism and all those all all those things were at the peak. So we conducted a program to denounce that Islam is not part of terrorism. Neither does Islam encourage this. So we did this event and we also did a program on understanding Iman in which Sheikh Abu Zaid Zameer, Sheikh Abdul Hasib were present. We have a three years full time this program for the children wherein. For example, if the child has completed grade 1 to grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, the child does not go to school, but only completes the hymns of the glorious Quran and directly gets admission in grade 5. With this concept, we've been doing, Alhamdulillah, we have about 5 to 6 students who have completed in the past 3-4 years. Next slide. Free water service was provided at the time wherein there was water scarcity. So at that time, we coordinated in Bangalore especially. Then we have this fortress of the Muslim, wherein we encourage the students to learn the important duas in the summer camp. Life history of Ashram Mubashar, that is the 10 blessed companions who were uh, uh, told that they will be getting Jannah in their lifetime itself. So their life history, what is it that we learn from them, how they were, so that is a learning thing. So the, an event was conducted on this, on the similar concept. Then in Ramadan, how do we handle, uh, what is it that we have to do? What is charity? What is the community contribution that we can do? An event was done on that community service and charity. Next slide, please. You can see Sheikh Abdul Nasi when Sheikh was at Zabir addressing on the the important topic, the message of peace. Be like a bee. So there's a 
about uh, the Hanibi that is mentioned in the Quran. What is it that we learned from it? It was a workshop done for the sisters by an Alima. Next slide, please. We conduct annual Hajj training programs and valedictory programs for Madrasa, Summer Camp, IFS program. Next slide. You can see annual Hajj training program in progress. Next slide. Shabda Rafiq Madhuri addressing. Uh, this, we also help non-Muslims. We do uh, basically helps people of all faiths. We are not specific to one community. Here you can see a non-Muslim father who is donating his kidney to his son. Uh, and you can see Shabdal Azim Madhuri doing the other. So whatever amount that we collected, so we handed over that amount to them. This is the valedictory program. Go on. Go on. This is the summer camp. Distribution of blankets during winter. We did this legal awareness workshop. Next slide. In which we, you can see here uh, MLA. Yeah, you can see the uh, an acting judge here, S. Natraj. You can see the corporators. M. S. Ponan, who was the Advocate General of Karnataka, then the then MLA, Mr. Narayan Swami, and other scholars, dignitaries present during this legal awareness workshop. We also launched a legal aid cell wherein we, we try to help people with free legal help, legal opinions, family law, marriage counseling, and solving disputes. Whoever cannot afford to provide them free service. This is the inauguration of the legal aid cell at the Vasan Nagar office. Shabdal Azim Madhini addressing the media. So we did a program on Mohabbat e Rasul, a full day event, a successful program again. Again, we've done a program on Zero of the Bites of the Prophet. Next program, please. We also did a workshop for uh, students on how to improve their handwriting skills. And on the right, you can see that uh, the different branches of IIC. This is the fund fundraising drive. Go on, move on, no problem. Fundraising drive of IIC. Any new police commissioner comes to uh, is, uh, comes to Bangalore, Bangalore city. So we welcome them and we tell them that uh, from the Muslim community, we are always there for you. You can see the mayor then, Sampat Raj and the deputy mayor who visited our organization. The concept here is uh, students, uh, when you, once the academic year is completed, uh, we do not encourage the students to sell the books. Instead, we ask them to donate to our organization. And in turn, we donate it to those students who cannot afford for the next academic year. So that way, it's just a recycle that happens. And we do not uh, encourage the students to sell the books. Rather, we make use of this concept. And we help the students uh, take the books from us. This is the knowledge from the MLA who visited our organization. Next step. Every time during the Ramadan, sorry, during uh, Independence Day, Republic Day, a message is rolled out from the organization. Next slide. This is the Ramadan food packs that you can see that we coordinate during Ramadan. We give it to the poor to fast as well. This is Eid gifts to the Muslims. Usually they, they are not attended. They are the ones who take care of the slippers and all that. This is the free medical camp. Uh, Aadhaar card when we had this opportunity of uh, making Aadhaar card, we also did that for women who, those who couldn't, those who didn't want to remove the parda. So we got only the female staff and got this done. This is the Ramadan pack, Ramadan workshops that we have done during Ramadan. Next slide. Gin and psychiatry, we did a program on that, facts and beliefs, that what exactly is the Islamic ruling, what is it that we have to know. Next slide. We did a program on uh, how to make your resumes, how to how your resume should be that unique one wherein the HR recognizes your resume and uh, touch week classes. So these are the important things and the career counseling that we've done. This this is the all India level essay competition that we have done in which we had prizes of 50,000 first prize, 25,000 second prize, and 10,000 third prize that we, we had cut. And in this, there's a non-Muslim who won the prize as well. <clears throat> and we also did a program on a step towards better society, wherein uh, what are the drug addicts, what are the steps that we had to take, and this was addressed with the police commissioner and all that. We did this event. Next slide. You can see the release of uh, 
drug abuse as to what has to be done. They have a concept called riba se riha in which there is a riba amount that is collected in the bank. So, for example, if we have certain savings in the bank, you get certain amount of riba. So, we, we encourage the, the amount that is collected as riba to donate it to us so that we can help uh, release these jail inmates. We have also done free dental camps, eye camps in the central jail, Bangalore, Parapanagrahara. We have done blood donation drives, free school teachers training program. Yeah, cancer skin camp in the jail and uh, this is, these are the BBMP workers. This is in the jail where we were addressing. This is the rack pickers where we have given food and uh, dresses for during Ramadan, Eid, blood donation drive again, go on. MLA, corporate are all present in blood donation drive. Dental checkup camps, three medical camps. Next slide. This is the educational aid being given by the MLA at our organization. Next slide. This is launch of community fridge with the concept that anybody can keep the food and anybody can take the food. With that concept, we have launched the community fridge. And this is Alok Kumar plus the police commissioner when they presented him. Next slide, please. No, the acting, the current uh, police commissioner Bhaskaro, we met him too. Again, discussing as to what we can do from the, at the community level. Next slide. The, on the green, uh, this on the left, you can see that is Mr. Nagat Abu, she is an IAS officer. And on the right, you can see in between there, uh, Mr. Anis Siraj is the Karnataka State Minorities Commission. He is the secretary. He visit, they visited the organization too. They wanted help as to how we can take the uh, schemes that are launched from the government to the next level. There's a free medical camps and anything that is related uh, at uh, the national level, like how uh, the satellite was launched and there was a uh, they missed by few kilometers, is 2.1 kilometers. So just an uh, encouraging driver message that goes out from the community uh, in the social media. Next slide, please. There's the inauguration of uh, Medicine Bank and I One Identity, wherein uh, the dignitaries were present during the inauguration. You can see Sheikh Maksud Imran Rafa Shadi Free Eye Camps. We also did a program against CAA, NRC, and NPR. Next session, please. <clears throat> One year program, and this is the Samatkar, so that it's handy if it is there in the mobile phones. Then we also did this uh, voter's ID card enrollment camp so that we can help people uh, make their ID cards. Next slide. This is the 26th January Republic Day event. That we have done next slide please from one identity the objective of one identity is to make uh, help people make their id cards online schemes people who do not know how to upload enroll and all that so that is what we do and help them with that this is the inauguration uh, invitation card for the community fridge next slide this is the urban skin collections we do this is with the Archbishop, uh, remember the Sri Lanka uh, blast that happened, Sri Lankan attacks. At that time, uh, we visited the churches, we met the Archbishop that we are in uh, to for the solidarity that it is now we are not against any religion. This is after a CAA event with one of the traffic police inspectors who I was appreciating for uh, coordinating very well that the Muslims did it themselves. So this was an appreciation, you can see in that. This is during COVID-19, we made this webinar sessions and uh, social media drive as to how uh, we have to save ourselves. This is a technical session which is going on, latest activity, and this is during the Galwan there, Chinese attack, so just an encouraging message from our organization. Next slide. During Ramadan, usually we give uh, gifts to the who's who of the society, uh, especially the non-Muslims. This is the ACP of Artinagar police station, this is Amir Sharia. Mr. Sheikh Sahir Ahmad Khan Rashadi. And this is with the police commissioner, Bhaskar Rao, during Ramadan this uh, 2020. These are some of the appreciation letters from uh, different organizations and scholars of the like Sheikh Dukhtur Arkid, Muhammad Badri, Sheikh Anisur Rahman, Sheikh Taha Sayyid, Sheikh Dukhtur Ilyas Madani, Sheikh Abdus Salam Madani. <coughs> Sheikh Yasser Jabri, Sheikh Abdus Salam, Sheikh Arshad Bashir, Sheikh Umar Khan, 
different scholars who have visited the organization their appreciation letters and go on katri shay abdul mati matri sister um nisa she dr juhi she kanta zubain matni first come on yeah dr rani brand from hcg hospital dr jasmine mulla sheikh abu zaid zameer uh, sheikh miraj rabai the, the, you can see sheikh uh, wasil abbas on the left he is uh, from india he has the fazilat of uh, giving fatwa there sitting in the haram he has been recognized at that level so he was present here and facilitating the organization for the activities that we have done you can see whatever activities we do that's there in the media I just move on it's there in the urdu media print media and all that in the english media as well salar go on this is shabdu nazim matni that is shahar ke no that sindhu darshan this is the indian muslims the responsibilities they went to date against isis this is the press conference that denouncing terrorism that we did at the bangalore press club yes you can see that here as well it was uh, reported in almost mainstream media prajawani varta bharti vijayawani salar times of karnataka times of india udayawani rajasthan patrika next slide go on this is the kerala lilith when deccan gold there is an, another uh, tribe of community fish it was reported in bangalore mirror as well we have three community fish in three places one at rt nagar one at kr one at dg hill and one at kr market next slide this is all in the media that has come be it uh, in the social media or print media that is in the from the internet express regarding the medicine bank future projects include having a full time rehab madrasa then having a islamic studies for the reverse printing books which is a continuous process a recording studio then expanding our organization and uh, state of that auditor because we do not have an auditorium if you have to do a program we have to rent at a very costly thing so we need to have auditorium of ourselves a charitable islamic school or hospital these are the projects that we want to venture in the future so that we can help the community and the society at large otherwise the cases for medical aid and educational aid are endless they just go on and on next slide please next slide what we need what we need from you is continuous support feedback financially if you can help us or you can provide ideas or if you have a certain expertise you can help the organization grow by providing those expertise this is the breakup uh, which is quite a old one the expenses have increased monthly what are the salaries that we have to provide the bills miscellaneous etc best reward inshallah whatever we contribute inshallah allah will reward you there is no doubt in that especially at this time during pandemic wherein the deaths are so common every day we have so many deaths that are happening we require oxygen cylinders we require uh, pp kits for the doctors protection kits for the doctors for the people who are uh, helping uh, bury those dead bodies so there's a lot of help that is required even ration if there's a like lockdown and all that these are a bank account details where you can uh, donate to a bank account and uh, we do a audit so we submit we submit a uh, it returns as well next slide this is the atg income tax wherein anybody who donates to organization gets a 50% exemption how you can help us yes you can do a personal pledge collective donations community contributions you can help us by donating to our organization jazakallah khair this is in uh, brief whatever we have done from day one till day we try to maintain everything so that uh, uh, we can be as so that anybody who comes in questions us or wants to know what are activities it's easier for us to tell them so this is in brief about the organization so we try our best to match between a really it's, it's, it's a socio religious organization where we try to match between the social activities and religious activities so that uh, we are able to uh, bridge the gap and uh, excel both ways so i just wanted to share that to you so that you are aware about the ngo as to what the ngo is doing like how ahmed is uh, helping us now he came up with this concept of doing this uh, robotics 
so there is a platform that is provided we got the students and that's how we can we try to help the society in whatever way we can and i think uh, we are done with the presentation this is just to give you a brief as to where we stand there will be certain other activities also we request the students to not waste your time at home especially during this pandemic lockdown and even after that even if the schools and colleges start uh, get associated with the organization uh, use your expertise be a part of it do not waste time whatever free time you get try to come to organization if you are close by you can use the books or help us in the activities you can always get back to us if there is any questions any queries or any suggestions you can email us as well and you can be in touch now the main part the important thing which everybody is been waiting for is the announcement as to what uh, what is the next step so we will be closing this session shortly uh, but friday i think uh, is the last session so the good news is that there is an organization called uh, scholosphere and uh, they have come forward to help the students they have come forward to identify the students who are doing good and they will be taken to the next level wherein they will be funded with the real time projects and they will give you a case study a problem and the students who excel will uh, execute these problems and if if it goes on well and if the problem is done well and if the solution comes out good that will be launched in the society okay so i repeat again so as of now at the end of this session end of a uh, entire session scholosphere will provide a question paper which again ahmed will be coordinating your teacher he will be coordinating you will have two exams one for us for the prizes that we have already planned and decided and one to identify the, the skills of those students who are really interested who are putting in that effort those students uh, will be given an opportunity to have hands on and practical exam and it that will be free of cost that will be uh, that will be sponsored by scholosphere and uh, they will inshallah uh, give you problems and if you uh, can create something innovate innovate things and uh, use the technology and come out with a solution those uh, those solutions to those, those things will be uh, patented with those things will be uh, launched in the pro in the market as a product so that is an opportunity that you got so we thank the management for coming forward and giving us uh, giving our enjoy an opportunity as well and giving our students an opportunity as well uh, to excel and at this level because i remember during our school days there were, there were hardly any such Uh, organizations or hardly any such initiatives that we used to get it was only study play and that's it so now things have changed the entire demography has changed the way we study the way uh, technology is moving forward robotics we never knew what robotics robotics was when we were in school we never knew mobile phones we never knew internet so the things are changing so it's for the better anything that is uh, used to beneficially in a proper channel in a proper way will definitely yield good results but if used in the negative it will it will have a negative in, impact so we urge the students not to waste time not to <clears throat> not to uh, utilize your time unnecessarily within the limits whatever you can do how you can help yourselves how you can help the society is what you always need to look at because the way things are progressing and currently the way the indian political system is the way india is heading we require students to come forward make that change to the society and put india on a global map at the technology level because that is your expertise if somebody is good at sports yes in the, in the sports whatever you can do put india on the global map give that edge and to be the responsible citizens so that we are proud being indian muslims and being indian citizens and we we contribute to the development of a nation that should be our aim not uh, compromising on our islamic values whatsoever so jazakumullah khairan students for your time initially there was a lag we couldn't uh, get that uh, technical thing so sorted out sorry for that but apart from that uh, a good day and a good session that we had so anything please coordinate with your teacher there will be two question papers one for the 
prizes for whatever sessions that we have conducted. One will be for the scholarship for them to identify the extra talent and the dedication the students have so that they can identify their talent and they can uh, utilize the expertise. So all the best, do well. So regarding your certificates, uh, we will be providing the certificates to you. So that depends on uh, what the government decides on the lockdown. Uh, if there is a com uh, compulsory lockdown and if it's decided, we will have e-certificates. Otherwise, we will try to provide you hard copies as well. So Jazakumullah Khairan, everybody for the Jazakumullah Khairan, Ahmed for uh, being patient, for coordinating and uh, consistently co taking on the sessions. I also thank Farhan, the technical guy from our team uh, who coordinates with all this and also the management of Islamic Information Center for uh, organizing these events and uh, coordinating. And all, I also thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us an opportunity to organize these events, to try to uh, uh, get that uh, right knowledge to the students and organizing such events. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well for giving, us that, for giving us that tawfiq to organize these events. And we thank each one of them involved in this, the parents for cooperating, the students for taking in time. And I get a lot of messages where the students are uh, uh, sending me videos as to what they have done and how they've executed. It's uh, a real pleasure when we see that students of such young age can do so much. It's just that we require, uh, we have to provide them that platform and that opportunity and they're able to do that. So all the best, anything, please keep in touch. You can WhatsApp to me on my number. 9845289298. Alternatively, please get in touch with your trainer as well. If it is any technical queries, anything administrative, any other issues that you want to get in touch with me, you can do that as well. And you can also visit our organization anytime, Islamic Information Center. Of course, not during this pandemic. Once the pandemic is over, inshallah, uh, you can visit our organization too and make dua uh, in tahajjud in all your prayers that uh, this pandemic ends soon and the uh, Globe uh, and the world comes to a normal scene, and everybody able to live uh, with peaceful coexistence and without any religious bias. And please do not forget to offer your salahs on time, which is very important as students. Do not miss that. With salah, work hard, dedicate yourself, and you will excel definitely. Inshallah. All the best for your exams as well, and for the next academic year. With this, I close. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك